Mississippi Ministry that helps people rebuild after natural disasters will open a new facility. WCBI's Allie Martin gives us a sneak peek at the building. As last minute landscaping was being finished, merchandise that helped support missionaries was being moved into place for a grand opening celebration. This is God moving in a big way. Steve Tiber is president and CEO of Eight Days of Hope. The faith based disaster relief ministry began in 2005 when Tiber and his dad organized a trip to the Mississippi coast to help those impacted by Hurricane Katrina. Since then, the organization has coordinated relief efforts in cities and towns hit by natural disasters. More than 35,000 volunteers from all 50 states have completed more than a million hours of work without cost to victims of hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods. For nine months, volunteers have helped build new headquarters for eight days of hope. The 60,000 square foot facility has a conference room, kitchen, and warehouse space for equipment. This building is 92% completed. Uh, we do have some more concrete work. Uh, offices need furniture. Uh, but everything that you see here has been paid for from a donor who gave specifically for this project. Um, people love to be a part of something when they see God moving. Eight Days of Hope will have its administrative offices at the headquarters and training center. And there's also office space available for brand new ministries and nonprofits. Initially, the space is available at no charge. We want this building to be an incubator, not for just future leaders and arms of the Ministry of Eight Days of Hope, but other ministries as well. Chris Childs heads the ministry's rapid response team, which is on site 48 to 72 hours after disaster strikes. He also oversaw construction of the new headquarters and says there's one main reason for the ministry's growth. Our only purpose is to share the love of Jesus. We use disaster relief and cleanup as our foot in the door so we can help people. The ministry will soon start building safe houses for victims of sex trafficking across the United States. Allie Martin, WCBI News. The grand opening will be Saturday at 10.